What is going on, good people of YouTube? It's me, Chavez. I'm back with another MLB player prop video for you today, Sunday, June 11th, 2023. As always, I hope this video finds you all doing well and in good spirits. We'll kick things off by recapping our plays from yesterday. We'll spend a few moments going over our promotion with Thrive Fantasy, and then we'll dive into the prize picks board because I got three player props that I want to share with you today. So if all that sounds good, I encourage you to stick around, drop a like, sub up, and click that notification icon to get notified of all upcoming content and videos from me and my channel. And without further delay, let's jump into those plays from yesterday. All right, our plays from yesterday, we go one and two. Take the over Jose Altuve fantasy points. He comes through, but Tosh Bradley got rocked a little bit in his start. Didn't see his full uh, full run of innings. Got pulled a little early. I feel had he just given up a little less production, that would have left them in there, and he probably would have got. He probably would have went over on that prop, like, um, like I, like I, like I said he would in uh, in that video. And then we uh, we went over 0.5 strikeouts for Xander Bogarts. Very close to this one being a strikeout prop that went over as well because he got walked twice. And sometimes the difference in those walks is a matter of inches, all about how the umpire sees that ball, you know, hit that catcher's glove. So got walked twice, was very patient at the plate yesterday, wasn't swinging at a lot of stuff. And he made, um, you know, he made the pitcher work a little bit yesterday. So one and two on the day sums it up. We look to go uh, two and one. No, we look to go three and oh today. We need to we need to sweep in the worst of ways, man. So uh, before we get into our player props for today, let's spend a few moments going over our uh, partnership with Thrive Fantasy. All right, Thrive Fantasy promotion partnership. This is what we got going on. 100% deposit match up to $250. Make sure your first deposit is $25 or more. All you have to do is use promo code Chavez to enjoy that perk. Once you're on Thrive, you're going to enjoy a very friendly payout structure. More money for you when your slips hit and in addition to all that, just for being a new user, just for using promo code Chavez, you get access to a free square. Free squares are amazing. They're a great way to build your bankroll and to start off on the right foot over on Thrive. So do what I did. Pair that free square up with just one other play that you like and damn near guarantee yourself 3.2x your entry amount. Or you can go for the big payout. Go for that 20.2x your entry amount. Team that free square up with four other plays and go five for five. But no matter how you do it, make sure you do it with promo code Chavez to enjoy all the good things, all the perks only over on Thrive Fantasy. All right, here we are over on the Prize Picks dashboard. Ran into a bit of a hiccup. Had a prop that I really liked that I wanted to talk about in today's video. Got pulled off the board. So uh, we're going to pivot and we're going to replace uh, that prop and uh, just keep rolling on with our day. So. Uh, in full transparency, that prop that I'm talking about was Ramon Lariano over 0.5 total bases got pulled off the board. So we are replacing Ramon Lariano with Andrew McCutcheon. Got the notes ready to roll. Uh, this is who we're rolling with here. So if you got what you want in today's video, then I wish you the best of luck. However, if you want to stick around and learn more about these props, then I encourage you to strap up, buckle up, because here we go. We're going to start off with Andrew McCutcheon, the replacement for Ramon Lariano. Hitter fantasy score of 7.0. I like the over on this one. Let's head over to props.cash and break this down together. All right, over on props.cash for Andrew McCutcheon, we can see over his last five games, he's gone over this line of hits, runs, and RBIs two out of five times. Now, there is no fantasy score prop, so we have to kind of break this down and look at some uh, individual statistics. So I like this prop here. I like the odds for this prop, I should say. Minus 170 to go over here. In terms of his hits, minus 280 to get one hit. He's hit safely in two of his last five games. And then in terms of his total bases, he's gotten us two total bases in those five games. So I understand the numbers don't look so appealing. So why, why do I like this prop? Well, I really like this prop because of the history versus Carlos Carrasco. Eight plate appearances, 286 batting average with two doubles and one RBI. And then also we look at McCutcheon's numbers. Uh, we look at McCutcheon's numbers versus right-handed pitching. If we can just, there we go. Right-handed pitching on the season, batting 276 with 29 singles, three doubles and five home runs. So a, m more of his power is from that side of the plate. Uh, or excuse me, more of his power is coming from uh, 
facing right-handed pitchers. Now Carrasco on the year versus right-handed batters. We can scroll down here and see that he's given up 275 batting average with five home runs. He's just given up a lot of power, a lot of production to that side of the plate. Carrasco is not the pitcher that he once was when he was in Cleveland. Um, I, just, I think it's awesome that he's still in the league, have you know, ha having battled cancer and survived it, and he's still pitching at a major league level. But you know, the facts are the facts. He's not the same guy, and I think McCutcheon, McCutcheon can get to him a little bit. So. We're going to start this off going over 7.0 hitter fantasy score for Andrew McCutcheon. All right, second player prop on a board that I want to talk about. Thankfully, this one did not get pulled. Fingers crossed it does not get pulled as we are talking about him. 1.5 hits, runs, and RBIs for Jose Abreu. I like the over. Let's head over to props.cash and break this one down together. All right, we're finally starting to see Jose Abreu heat up. I believe this is what the Astros had in mind when they signed him in the offseason. So four straight games of getting on base with at least one hit. He's got seven total hits in his last four games, seven in his last five games. You can look at his total bases, 12, excuse me, 10 total bases over his last two games and then 13 total bases in his last four games hits runs and rbis that's what we're focusing on here 12 hits runs and rbis over his last two look i can go on and on about all these numbers you can see for yourself you can read them yourself let's talk about his personal history his personal history let's talk about his history versus shane Bieber. personal history sounds like they got some beef like they they you know they were like you know uh fighting at one point or something so Jose Abreu versus Shane Bieber since 2017, uh, 47 plate appearances with seven singles, three doubles, five RBIs, and three home runs. So very good numbers versus Bieber uh, in his career. Now Bieber versus uh, right-handed batters like Jose Abreu, keeping that batting average a bit suppressed. Uh, however, the numbers don't really do you a whole lot of well the numbers don't really tell the whole story is what i'm trying to say sometimes a pitcher can have good numbers versus you know righties or lefties but they have trouble with one one specific player you know so it looks like abreu is that player for shane bieber and uh i think abreu is starting to heat up i believe this is the start of a nice little streak for him we always talk about how baseball is a game of hot streaks and cold streaks he definitely is not in a cold streak. I think we take, uh, I believe we just jump on this wave and, and just ride it until uh, until it goes flat. All we need are two hits, runs, and RBIs from him. I just think we're getting really good odds, and the spot is right for Jose Abreu, so let's go with it. Taking the over 1.5 hits, runs, and RBIs for Jose Abreu as prop number two. All right, and prop number three on the board, our last play on the board, Bryce Elder, 4.0 pitcher strikeouts. I like the over on this one. Let's head over to props.cash and look at this together. All right, now this is a home game for Atlanta. We can see that overall, Bryce Elder has four straight games of five plus strikeouts. Now at home, we can switch and see he has uh, three straight games of five plus strikeouts. The other two games, he failed to hit that prop. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind about this play. Number one, the uh, Washington Nationals don't strike out a lot versus right-handed pitching. So this is a really good number for them. This is not a great number for opposing pitchers. Um, only whipping at a 19.3 strikeout rate this season versus right-handed pitchers. In his last 12 starts, we can go back to all in his last 12 starts the lowest strikeout total that elder has hit was three the other two games he got four so the push potential was high the upside to go over is there but very very you know few games he's gone under this and that that's what makes me feel really good about this prop now if you want to stay away from this prop because of how disciplined the Nationals are at the plate, I completely understand. But I just think this number is way too low for Bryce Elder, who honestly should be pitching with the lead at some point in this game, very early in this game, perhaps. Pitchers are different pitchers when they're pitching with the lead. I'm personally going to roll with this prop. Uh, I, I like what I'm seeing here for Bryce Elder. So give me the over. 
4.0 pitcher strikeouts for Bryce Elder as our third and final play of the day. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let us recap these three plays. We got Elder over strikeouts at 4.0, Abreu over hits, runs, and RBIs, and then McCutcheon over 7.0 hitter fantasy score. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel and checking this video out. Do drop a comment below if you uh, if you are telling these plays, number one, drop a comment below. Let me know what you like on a board. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about these plays that we talked about in today's video. Best of luck should you tell any of these plays. And until tomorrow's MLB player prop video, Chavez is out.